We have a new sponsor on the channel that you guys are going to absolutely love. Symbol is the stock market for sports that allows you to profit off your sports knowledge. Crazy, right? On Symbol, you can trade sports teams like stocks, and every time your team wins, you earn cash. Use your sports knowledge on Symbol to buy low, sell high, and earn cash payouts when your team wins. Join the 7,000 plus early adopters who have started to invest in their favorite teams. All you have to do is visit www.symbol.com slash NOS. Use the promo code NOS, and your deposit will have a money back guarantee up to 500 smackers that means even if you lose money symbol will refund your initial deposit no questions asked join symbol and start investing and profiting from your favorite teams now What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So I already had made a video today um, just uh, talking about one of the biggest problems the Saints have. I guess that's going to have to come out tomorrow, and then I'll make State of the Saints the day after, and then preview and predictions the day after. But uh, something just happened. The Saints made a trade for our old dear pal, Mark Ingram, who hasn't played in a New Orleans Saints uniform since our legendary 2018 season that should have ended with a Lombardi trophy. But he's back. We traded for Mark Ingram, and I actually really, really, really like this move. A lot of people are pissy. Like, a lot of people are a little bit angry at the, the position we went with. Not Nobody, like, nobody's upset that we got Mark Ingram. Just a lot of people are upset with the position we went with. We didn't go wide receiver first. We went straight for a running back, which I actually appreciate this move. Alvin Kamara has been the obvious workload, the full-time premier running back for the New Orleans Saints, doing both running, catching, and damn near everything i'm surprised he hasn't thrown a touchdown yet that's how much he's been being used he has been an extremely heavy bell cow back alvin Kamara isn't that kind of running back he has never been the bell cow back it has always been alvin Kamara and somebody else alvin Kamara and latavius murray alvin Kamara and mark ingram for a while boom and zoom you guys all remember that that's all back for the new orleans saints to have again this season it was really 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 important that we got this done we needed another running back we had tony jones jr at the beginning of the season but he ended up getting hurt and divine ozigbo just was not cutting it he's not somebody that you can go out there and put on third down you know you're not going to run multiple plays in rapid succession with divine ozigbo you just aren't he's not terrible but he's not a premier running back at all mark ingram's actually been pretty good since he left new orleans in 2019 he had that really good season with the baltimore ravens the whole big trust thing that was going around he had a really good camaraderie with his team as he does everywhere he makes every locker room brighter he had 202 attempts for 1,018 rushing yards in 2019 with 10 rushing touchdowns. He also had 26 receptions for 247 yards and 5 touchdowns. He averaged 5 yards per carry. Um, and then he, in 2020, had a pretty decent season with the Ravens. He didn't get to play a full season. He had 72 attempts for 299 yards, 2 touchdowns. He was averaging 4.2 yards per attempt. He also had 6 receptions for 50 yards before going to the Houston Texans in 2021, one of the worst teams in the league. He has had 92 attempts for 294 yards, a 3.2 yard per carry average with a touchdown as well. And their offensive line is straight up horse shit. It is really, really bad. So Mark Ingram has a chance, of course, to come back into a system he's very familiar with and flourish. We all know Mark Ingram. We all love Mark Ingram. Him and Alvin Kamara had the best running back duo, not only statistically, but just you look at them and they were happy. It was like a happy marriage they had. No homo. It was amazing. So Mark Ingram in his 2011 to 2018 stint with the New Orleans Saints, the first big stretch of his career, had an 88.6 PFF grade, which is seventh among running backs in that time span. He had 6,007 rushing yards, 50 rushing touchdowns, and 207 missed forced tackles. So this dude is one of those big brute running backs that are going to push you over. And I'm trying to tell you guys, he still has it. Versus the Jaguars this season, he had 26 attempts for 85 yards and a touchdown. He had 18 attempts for 73 yards against the Colts. I'm telling you, putting in the right system 
Mark Ingram still has exactly what it takes to be a productive running back, and that is something I'm very, very, very excited to see back with the New Orleans Saints. So, yes, we have Mark Ingram to pair with Alvin Kamara. Like I said, takes a huge workload off Alvin and is really, really, really good for Alvin's longevity. This was something that we were talking about during the stream with the Seattle Seahawks game um, when I was streaming that game. A lot of people were asking, yo, Nas, do you think that Alvin producing at this level is sustainable for a, a big chunk of his career? I just don't think it is. I don't think that you can put that much beat and bruise onto a running back's body and expect them to keep trucking. Like, I'm telling you, the amount of work that Alvin has been doing is not sustainable. That's what we've seen with players like Christian McCaffrey. Christian McCaffrey has been the Carolina Panthers offense. He hasn't been the center of it. He hasn't been the main part of it. He hasn't been a keystone to it. He has been the Carolina Panthers offense for a few years. And that's why it's been very difficult for him to stay on the field. You do not want to beat these running backs down like that. Sure, they'll be hot for a minute. But as soon as those those hits and hits and hits start adding up, every hit is a count. You, you can only reach a certain limit before your body turns on you. And that's exactly what the New Orleans Saints are trying to avoid by acquiring somebody like Mark Ingram. And I'm really, really, really happy this is the dude we decided to go for. Because if it's anything like it was back in the day, he should pick up right where he left off and have amazing chemistry with this team. Not only Alvin Kamara, but can you, can you imagine Jameis Winston and Mark Ingram? They're the two goofiest people I've ever seen in my life this is a really really important part to the new orleans saints offense that is now here and i'm very excited about that now all the new orleans saints need to do is go ahead and pick up a wide receiver and the candidate that's very obvious right now is brandon cooks who's actually pissed off on twitter right now he posted a tweet saying like this is bullshit come on man or something like that he wants to be traded he hasn't been traded and he just watched one of his best friends that this is this is being a, a very obvious report. Everyone's reporting this. He is seeing his best friend, one of his best friends, being traded from the team and wants to do the same thing. So, Saints, if you want to go ahead and negotiate with the Texans and possibly get Brandon Cook's speedy ass down here, I wouldn't be upset with that reunion either at all. So, yeah, Brandon Cooks, this is bullshit. Such a joke on Twitter. Hopefully, the New Orleans Saints can go and make a move because we do still need a wide receiver. That has not vanished. That is still a very prominent need. I feel like we should have assessed that first, but I'm I'm, I'm, I'm okay with how the dice are rolling. I like the Mark Ingram acquisition. So go ahead and let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think about this. Let me know if you think it's a stupid move, a dumb move, a good move. How do you feel about it? I feel like it's going to be very hard to find many Saints fans that disagree with this trade. I feel like it's a very, very like no-brainer. It's obvious that this is a good idea. Um, it's a good fit for both. Mark Ingram wasn't getting that much um, return from the Houston Texans. His supporting cast was not that great. The Texans have been straight up dog ass so far this season. And the New Orleans Saints very desperately needed a second running back that packs a punch that they can put out there and he can bulldoze and he can be a brute and he can absorb those hits. And that's exactly what they're getting with Marky Mark. So another happy reunion for the New Orleans Saints. Another big, big, big win. I feel like this was a really nice trade, something that just makes too much sense for both parties. So yeah. I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Um, it's a bit spontaneous. I literally recorded one earlier, so now I have two videos sitting here. Um, I'm going to post this one, and I'll probably post the one I recorded today, tomorrow. So if you see me wearing the same shirt in back-to-back -back videos, boys, you know why. <laughs> so yeah, like I said, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave in the comment section below what you feel about this. Do you love it? Hate it? Let me know. I'll see you boys in the next one. Adios. Mark Ingram's back, baby. They're going to eat airheads on the sideline. Zero gravity falling in my bursting, my stage on, like I'm jumping on a trampoline.